Hi guys and welcome in this special video where we will talk about the long term features, the trend features. This video will be special because it comes directly from the e-learning part of the AlphaCon program. And if you want to know more about our community, where we have e-learning videos, monthly projects and 7 day of a 7 support, you just have to look into the description. The goal of this video will be to create a feature that will help us to detect the trend, so the slope of the price of an asset. And to have access to the code of this video, you just have to go on the market trend features and you will have two files, one notebook and one data set to be able to apply our features on some prices to have an idea about what we are doing. So it will be pretty simple. First of all, we need to import some libraries. Then we extract our data set. So the open high, low, close volume and the earth exponent between the four hour time frame, which comes from one of our previous video. And this time we'll just extract the close price. Then we'll take a function that we already know, the linear regression slope. And it's pretty easy to use it. As input, you will have your prices and more precisely your close prices, which will be the Y, the target that we are trying, let's say, to predict. And the X, the features of this regression will be the time. So the goal will be to understand how the price vary over the time. If we have a big slope, it means that the price is really like that or like that. If we have a very small slope, it means that the price is ranging. And so we do our linear regression and we extract the coefficient of this slope. And to have a better overview, we'll compute this slope, so the trend, with different rolling periods. For example, we'll compute the six month slope. So we'll know if during the six last month, we'll have a good trend or we are ranging. Then we do the same thing for the three month slope. Then we do the same for a three month rolling. Then we do the same for one month rolling. And here to do so, I take so 125 days because it is approximately the number of days that we have from Monday to Friday over six months. But in the same time, I need to multiply it by six because I'm working with a four hour time frame because we have six rows of four hours in one day. So that's obvious. I do the same for the three month and the one month. And then with this code, I just plot on the same graph. So on two axes, but on the same graph, first the price and then the different slopes that we have depending on the time that we have used in the rolling. So here in blue, we can see the price of the Euro USD, the close price, and we can see different slopes. And the scale of the slope is not too much important, okay? What we need to understand is that if it's positive or negative, and we can see also that the values for the sixth month is much smoother than the values for the one month, for example, which is quite obvious. And the advantage of computing these features on several time frame is pretty easy to understand. For example, with the six month, we'll know the very long trend, okay? But in each very long trend, you have some reversal movement, and that's pretty important to integrate them into your analysis. For example, there we are into a decreasing trend, but in the same time, there we have a small ranging period. And so if you know that on the six month, you are into a decreasing trend, but on the three month or the one month, you are ranging, maybe you will not take the same action than if are very decreasing. So that's why it's important to compute it on several periods to have a better overview about the market price movement. So I hope you like this video. If you have any ideas about what you would like to see on this YouTube channel about new features or new trading signals or anything, just drop a comment and I will take it into consideration for the next video.